everybody, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 76 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And you're probably wondering, why am I in the middle of Kakariko Village right now? Didn't I go to the Shadow Temple last time? Well, yes I did, but I thought since there's a lot of magic usage going on in the Shadow Temple, so I think I'm going to come here and buy some green potion, just because I can. Yeah, because this can be somewhat useful when you're using your Lens of Truth a whole bunch, and... Um, I don't know, Din's Fire maybe at some point. I don't think I'm ever going to be using Forest Wind. You can't really do much with it in that temple. Um, one green potion should be enough, but I'm going to buy a red potion too. Just, you never know. Just in case. Alright, so yeah, we're done with that now. I wish I could skip this text, but unfortunately I can't. Apparently, I don't know why. Uh, no, I don't want to buy anything else. Frick you. So, let's go ahead and play the Nocturne of Shadow. Ah, oh, damn it, I messed up. Alright, there we go. Yep. Uh, why do I always have to stop talking to play songs correctly? That's stupid. Alright. Purple Wisp time. Nice. Okay, so... um, Yeah, I have three videos before... I have to go on my break, because this video will be posted on August 1st. So if I can beat the Shadow Temple within 45 minutes, then you should be able to see it all before I go on leave. So I'm going to try my best to do that. Anyway, so right here, there is um, this. There's a hookshot target right there. Let's just grab that. First puzzle completed. Nice. And over here, the, sh the shadow will yield only to one with the Eye of Truth handed down in Kakariko Village. Which is basically meaning that you should have the Lens of Truth before going into the temple. You don't actually need it, because you can just walk through this wall like that, but whatever. Alright, so in this room, this can be a little bit confusing, but basically, if you use your Lens of Truth, you see that there's a passage over here that's open. I'm pretty sure this is the only one that's actually open right now. Or that ever will be open, for a matter of, as a matter of fact. Alright. One who gained the Eye of Truth will be able to see what is hidden in darkness. Yep. Alright, and there's another. Uh, oh. Shadow Temple. Here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. That's spooky, dude. And there's a door here. Nice. What could be in here? Oh, God, it's a redhead. You must die. You must die. I. Wow, that was easy. Two hits from the big horn sword and it kills a redhead? Oh wait, there's other stuff up there. Cause Navi's targeting keys up there. Oh my god. I missed. Seriously? Wow. And there's the other one. And is there any more in here? Nope. I guess that's it, cause something happened. Okay, good. A treasure appeared. Cause I was thinking to think, what's the point of that room? It's just three monsters. That would be retarded. What could this be? Could this be the item of the dungeon already? No, unfortunately it's not. I think it's just the something. The dungeon map, okay. Yeah, normally in this dungeon I actually just pass by the dungeon map. I don't know why. It's kind of easy to get right there. Alright, so yeah. Base oh, Shadow Temple. Here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed. Yeah, your friend over there just said the same thing. But basically, so that you don't have to use the lens of truth the whole time, these pots will mark the path for you, as well as the fact that the eyes on the ones you can go through usually are glowing. What is hidden in the darkness? Tricks full of ill will. You can't see if the way forward. Yes, I can. Ha. Beat ya. I yeah, see how... Oh, wait. One who gains the eye of truth will be able to see what is hidden in the darkness. I yeah, see how this one kind of has glowing eyes, but they're faded, so you can't go through it. But this one over here, it, you can go through it. It is even marked with a pot. Alright, what's in here? Oh, God. Not this guy again. And this time he has six arms. Holy shit. Oh, well, yeah. well, let's just get grabbed, I guess. Alright, alright, alright. Let me go, let me go! You and your red fingernails. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill you like that. Alright, big orange sword spin attack. Instead of that wimpy Kokiri sword, how do you like that one, big man? What's your name, anyways? You are Dead Hand. Watch out for its infinite hand. Aim for its head! Alright, ah! Uh, ouch. You hurt me with your big explosion. You're mean. Oh, God, he doesn't... Oh, shit! I'm being grabbed... No! No! Let me go! I must be freed! Alright. Spin attack. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Maybe this will kill him. Yep. Kills him. Nice. Magic, please, and thank you. Don't twitch again, dude. Please. No. 
Twitching. Ew. And I have a magic jar above my head. That's weird. Alright. And what's this gonna be? Guess it's gonna be the compass, right? Well, let's just find out. We got the hover boots. What? With these mysterious boots, you can hover over the ground. The downside? No traction. You can even use these to walk for short periods where there is no solid ground. Be brave and trust in the boots. Yep, so basically that allows you to air walk for a brief period of time, like two seconds, one or two seconds or something. Alright, so that's basically the point of this area that we've just gone through, so let's work our way back to the main room. Nice. Yep, it's going good so far, but the Shadow Temple is not this easy the whole time, trust me on that. And by the way, um, those two past episodes, episode 74 and 75, the lag in that those episodes, or I guess just in episode 74, really. Wait, make my make make my beak face the skull of truth. The alter alternative is to descend into the deep darkness. All right, uh, the, where's the skull of truth? It's that one. Okay, yeah, the skull of truth is basically the one skull that will not disappear once you uh, in, under the lens of truth, I guess. But yeah, those past two episodes, the lag, it caused massive, massive desync in, like, the audio. So I had to work so- No, don't push it again! Don't push it again! Don't push it again! Dude, dude, what are you doing? Pull it, pull it, pull it. There we go. Alright. Yeah, it caused massive desync in the audio, so I had to work so hard just to make that. I spent, like, two hours editing each one of those videos. Seriously. It's a pain in the ass. Alright, so you cannot make this jump right here. And there's no hookshot targets, so we're gonna have to use our new item here. The hubba boots. Yes, let's go! Woo! And you just barely grab it, wow. Yeah, and I really hate the hover boots, because you, like it says, you have no traction, so it takes you longer to, like, make up speed, I guess. Okay, oh, over here, let's see. Just one of these guys, let's just get our bombs. You know, bombs. Bombs! Let's kill it. There we go. It didn't work. That worked. Nice. And it even drops some bombs for us. That's lovely. Okay, let's just look around this room. There's some walls and stuff. Um, yeah, I think you can actually walk through some of these walls and, like, bomb some of them or something. Uh, so yeah. Let's see. Uh, we can go through this one. That's nice. And, oh god, it locked behind me. Oh shit, mummies. Okay, just, oh shit, I did not mean for that to happen. Now I'm pretty much screwed. Dude! No! No! Don't do that! I'm being raped by King Tut! Die! Die! Alright, let's spin attack this guy. From here. BAM! Nice. How epic win. And I'm guessing that's gonna be the compass. Cause what else could it be? I don't know, maybe it could be like walking on water boots or something. I don't know. Booyah! Let's get the compass! Woo! Okay, and leave. Yeah, the Shadow Temple is pretty straightforward, actually. Um, there's not... Well, it is kind of puzzly at some points, but, um, it's usually not that bad. Alright, we can go through this wall, too. Sweet. Okay, in here, oh, this thing. I hate this thing. It's a silver rupee challenge, and there's, like, bl bl a blade th thingy. I don't know, like, Grim Reapers on the blades or something. But, yeah, just like in the ice cavern, you can duck under those blades, so don't be too intimidated by it. Aw, oh, damn it, I got hit. Okay, wait for the blade to pass. Let's see, what's over here? Um, Navi, tell me what it says. It's wall, it's saying something. Yeah, okay. It says, if you want to see a fairy to the other world, come here. And basically, if you get much closer, you will fall right into this hole that you can climb out of, but it's just a pain in the ass, so I'm not going to do that. It actually leads to an area much later in the dungeon, but you cannot uh, do anything in that area if you fall down at this point. Alright. Okay, oh god. Uh, looks like I'm going to need my hook shot or something. Okay, get out my hook shot. Where's, there it is. And gotcha. Well, oh, I missed it. And oh god. 
strange camera angles. I, I couldn't even tell where that was in the room, but from pe previous experience, I know that... Wow! I, like, jumped onto the blade. Did you see that? That would be epic if you could just, like, land on the blade and have it carry you around and stuff. That would be cool. But anyways, that's all that's in this room. As you can see by the compass, there's nothing else in the room. Just that small key and the blade thing. Nice. And, oh, uh, this statue again. I hate this thing. Beamos, you must die. Oh, nice camera angle there. I can see the top of Link's head, and it's blue. My god. Okay, bomb. And we cannot actually walk through this wall, but don't think that just because this is Shadow Temple, that other normal means of getting through places will not work. Watch it go boom! Nice. And here's the locked door. Here's a locked door. So we consume our key. Nom nom nom. I'm gonna consume my key. Gummy. Yeah. I remember this passage. There's like a bunch of hidden sculptures. Like giant sculptures, I mean, not golden sculptures. That would be cool, but no. Yeah, but Navi targets them anyways, so it's not too hard to find out where they're gonna be. Alright, uh, do you drop anything useful? Arrows? I don't think I need those, but whatever. Oh, I didn't even realize you were gonna be there. Thankfully, I reacted quick enough. What? I killed it and it hit me at the same time or something? I don't know what just happened. Oh god, these things scare the shit out of me, because I, I always, I'm always afraid that- Ow, I'm not even gonna bother with that guy now. I'm always afraid that those guillotines are gonna like, come down and like cut me in half or something. It's gonna be so graphic, but no, I've never even been hit by one of those. Oh, more wall masters? That's not fun. Yeah, but I don't know. Those guillotines scare the shit out of me. Um, yeah. And oh god, here comes the wall master. You must die! Ha. Alright, sweet. Rupees. I need four rupees to refill my wallet. And also, I have decided that starting with this temple, I'm not going to be doing an intro or an outro for, like, while I'm in, with, in the temples, except, like, maybe at the boss room. Like, I'll say, I'll save the boss for its own episode or something. Where did that guy even come from? Whatever. But, yeah, um, oh, Stalfos, whatever. Yeah, I just want to make it more fluid so I can get into the temple more. Yeah, I think someone actually commented about that, saying I don't need an intro and outro every time, but yeah. So, there's not going to be an outro for this episode. It is going to fade out just like at the end of the episode, just like every other episode. But it's just, I'm just not going to say, Haha, you you fell. I'm not going to say, like, thank you and good night. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead. I'm actually going to put on my hover boots here. And I'm going to take a leap of faith. Yeah. That's right, I'm standing on midair, bitches. But if you use your lens of truth, you will see that there are platforms. But you don't need to have a lens of truth on to be able to walk on them, so that's nice, I guess. And door. Sweet. Yep. Just moving like clockwork, I guess. Yeah, this temple's not really all that hard. It's probably it's easier than the water temple, I know that much. Alright, oh, there's an invisible one of these blade things this time. Oh, and a like like. That's lovely. No, no, don't eat me. Ouch. Oh, no. My shield is gone. The tunic I was wearing has also been taken. You must die. Or, ow. I was trying to duck. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, I got my Hylian shield. Yay. And I got my Zora tunic. Yay. Yep, thankfully, they dropped those, so... You are not forever without them. Okay, let's get back to this. Alright. Yeah, you go over me like that, whatever. Where am I supposed to be going in this room? Um, let me see, let me think. Oh god, 14 minutes right now. Um, but whatever, I'm not doing an intro and an outro anyways. I'm just gonna stop the timer when I see it. Alright, well, I guess that I'm just gonna go to the edge of the room. I think there's a hookshot target somewhere in here. Really? What am I supposed to be. Do? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know about this room. That's right, dude. That's right. I know exactly what I have to do. I need to get out my bow and arrows here. And yeah. Alright, let's just do. Ouch! Bitch face. Alright, so let's do this thing.